Boxers avoid sex for weeks before a fight to harness the power of semen retention. It is a well-known ritual in the MMA and boxing community and practiced by many renowned fighters, Muhammad Ali used to abstain from sex within a six-week window before a fight. And Floyd Mayweather publicly admitted that he will not have sex before his famous fight against Conor McGregor. Now there is a lot of debate whether it is right or wrong factually. Does it weaken you physically or mentally? But this article puts it into words beautifully. Men from the Dark Ages have been motivated to succeed due to their desire to acquire female favor and consequently obtain sex. Sex is a great reward and our mind rewards us after having it because it is imperative for our species' survival. So once you feel rewarded and satisfied, do you feel the need to achieve anything in that state? The answer is no. Harnessing the sexual power and using it to create and achieve is the principle behind semen retention as all those vital fluids that semen contains are consumed by our body. Testosterone are stored up which are extremely beneficial for aggression and fight or situations where you must stand your ground. And many trainers and professional fighters do not associate sex with having high performance. Rather it is believed that abstaining from sex itself is training. It is to elevate that hunger to win and not to reward yourself needlessly before a fight. You do not go for hunting with a full stomach, the same principle applies to a fight or trying to go through hell to obtain something worthwhile. Nothing worth keeping comes easy. Channel the inner beast to one goal and one goal only. It is about delayed gratification and honing your inner man to achieve extremely hard and difficult things. If you cannot even control your sexual urges and your addictions. What makes you think you are ready to endure the long and hard road to greatness? since you are so used to fapping and getting your instant gratification. Semen retention is not a simple concept like abstaining from ejaculation. It is about self-discipline and self-mastery. Showing yourself that you can be trusted. You have what it takes to do difficult and incredible things. You have the resolve to take on the world and bleed and struggle but never surrender. This fire and hunger is what makes a man great. Do not commit to semen retention for the sake of retaining. Commit to greatness and self-mastery. Channel this power towards a goal. What do you want in life? Go after it like a lion that has been starving for days. This is the very principle that makes many of the MMA fighters and boxer better than the others. It is not only the skill and power. It is the hunger and the drive to achieve something most men would not. So do not be like most men. You were born to rule. So rule. I let myself get really hungry to uh, go to the arena. I feel like I compete better on an empty stomach. And I truly do believe that as, as humans, when you are, are starving and you're hungry and you're abstained from sex, and all the, it, it, it builds something inside of you that uh, makes you want to go and, and uh, pursue and, and get those things. And I think to get through the next man, that's blocking me from essentially going to my life. That's essentially me going to get food and enjoy myself and just really having a great time. I will blast through that person to get to that moment. And I